So that bus runs pretty frequently. That one is one journey every week. So I do have to watch out for the time again, make sure I'm on time. So day three, my gold hunt down in Devon. Secret river number five. So I have to be really careful here because um, this is really remote and there is no phone signal. So I have to be really careful. And these rocks are really slippery. So I'm going to be very, very careful and that water is pretty deep and fast flowing as well. So I'm just going to work on these rocks just on the shore here and some of the, some of the sand. It's a different sort of rock from yesterday and this has cracks in it. It's some kind of limestone-y, slate gritstone type rock. So I'm going to try get my crevicing stuff out and try the crevicing stuff in. I'm just going to stick in this spot because I'm not going to risk going across the river. It's just me and the cows for company this morning. Sometimes I see little sparklies in the water. If you can see it, and if you can see just there, there's two there. I'll have a look and see what they are. So I'm holding on to the tree as I go along and I'm kind of going on all fours, moving around these rocks. So it's good for crevicing though, good for, I haven't found anything yet, but having some good practice crevicing and exploring these pools here. Let's go for one of these. Here's pan number nine. Just no, nothing there, just a little back sand. So that was going to be the end of it, my three days down in Devon. But here's one bonus river. So this is Secret River number six because I had a little bit of spare, a few, a few spare hours and some time and I'm making but this was not too far downhill so is the river and there's a little sandbank here and there's some stones dropped out there so I'm gonna have a quick work of that and uh, and see what I can find there I'm gonna do a bit of micro panning back at home to see what I can find in there. 